Have you ever missed a perfect trade because you didn't pay attention to your own trading strategy? This video has the solution to that problem. Today, we're gonna take a look at how to set up TradingView alerts, not only for support and resistance, but also how to set alerts for trading indicators, trend channels, and so on and so on, so that you never, hopefully, will never miss a perfect setup again. So yeah, guys, I really dislike tutorials that are too long, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so let's start by opening up a clean chart in TradingView. I'm currently looking at the S&P 500 on the daily time frame, but what you learn in this video can be applied across all time frames and all markets. And now let's start by taking a look at the most basic type of alerts. But later on in this video, we will also, of course, take a look at how to set up alerts for indicators and more complex setups as well. But let's start here with the most simple type. And for this, I actually do want to change the time frame here to the weekly for the S&P 500. So here on the chart, you can see that every candlestick represents one week. And one very interesting thing about the current S&P 500 price is that we are getting close here to the all time high. And this is a very clear example of a level that we are interested in because a lot of traders are of course paying attention to the all time high of the world's largest index. So let's take a look here. How can we set an alert for this level? Well, to set the alert, first of all, we go here to the upper right corner and we wanna press on this alerts button right here. And to create a new alert, you simply press on this button right here. So here we're looking at the settings tab and it's important to understand how this one work. First of all, we have the condition. This is basically what the alert will be based on. And for now you can see it says US 500. So we are currently creating an alert that is based on the S&P 500 price. The next setting is what type of alert do we want to create? You can see that the first one is crossing. That is basically that we get an alert if the price crosses a certain level. We also have things such as the price entering a certain channel or you know outside a certain channel. We can also choose to create an alert if the price moves up a certain percentage or moves down a certain percentage and so on and so on. We have tons of different settings here, uh, but I think that one of the most simple and also best settings here is to choose the greater than or less than setting. And for this specific case, we're interested in the price crossing and going above a certain level. So we can use the greater than setting for this. And then as you can see, we can choose a price here to the right. So if you, for example, write 4,800 right here, then TradingView will give us an alert when the price is greater than 4,800. But in this case, remember that the level we are interested in is the all time high, which was at 4,820. So the level we want to choose here is to get an alert when the price is greater than 4,820. And what I actually usually do is that in order to get a significant signal, I prefer to set the price a bit higher. So perhaps you can set it at like 4,830. But if you want to get notified as soon as the price touches the level, you can set it at this. Then you have the trigger. You can choose to get the signal only once or you can choose to get the signal every time the price is above. Uh, most of the time, I definitely prefer to choose only once here so that you don't get you know spammed with signals and you can also choose here to decide a date where the alert will expire you can also give a name to the alert in this case we can name it like s p 500 all time high or something so that you right away when you get the alert knows that the s p 500 has broken a new all-time high when we're done with the settings we simply press create right here and now as you can see we have an active alert in the upper right corner when the alerts have triggered, they will appear in the bottom right corner where it says alerts log. But so far, the alert has not triggered yet, so we don't have anything in our alert log. All right, guys, okay, so now let's take a look at how to create alerts for TradingView indicators. To do this, we first off need to go up here to the indicators tab in TradingView. And let's choose a simple indicator right here. Uh, we can, for example, choose the volume indicator. So we'll go down here and open up the volume. 
To create a new alert when you already have one, you go up here to the create alert button right here. And now in the settings tab, instead of having the price of the S&P as our condition, we want to press right here and we want to choose volume, which is our indicator as our condition. Next, we want to choose how the signal is triggered. And once again, we have many different options here, but we can, for example, choose greater than. By choosing this, the signal will get triggered when the volume is above a certain amount. And let's say that we are interested in getting an alert when we see lots of trading activity and lots of volume. So we can, for example, choose 500,000 right here or 500K. And once again, you can choose the trigger, the expiration. You can name it, for example, high volume. And when you are done with the alert, you can press save right here. Now I want to show you all another super useful way to use alerts. And that is to get alerts when we break a certain chart pattern or trend channel or everything like that. So if you didn't know, you can actually create alerts for all these sort of trend line tools and patterns and so on and so on. So let's just show this by drawing a trend line right here. So to show this, let's actually take a look at the pattern that the S&P 500 created here a while ago. Uh, so now we're looking at the daily time frame. But as you can see, the S&P 500 created a sort of beautiful deep pullback. If you want to, you can actually look at this as a bullish flag, right? So we had an impulse move followed by a pullback and then we had the next impulse move. Uh, and in order to create an alert for when this pattern actually broke, what you want to do here is that you want to press on the trend line. So we press on this trend line right here and then you click on the add alert button right here. And now, and this is very important, now you can see that we have the condition is the S&P 500. And this is actually what we want because the alert is based on the S&P 500 price. As for the condition here, we can once again use the greater than signal as our trigger. But here you can actually see that we have yet another bar. You can see that we have the price volume and we also have the trend line. So by using this combination, you can see that we will get a notification when the price is greater than the trend line. Or in other words, you will get notified when the price breaks out from the chart pattern. All right, okay, so now when you know how to set alerts in TradingView, you may be interested in learning about how you can actually trade inside the TradingView platform. So if you're interested in that and have time, I highly recommend all of you to watch this video next.